Welcome to Delphi Labs. My name is Paweł Głowalski and this is the part 2 of our DataSnap multi-tier database application demonstration. In the first part of this tutorial uh, I have used web broker technology to build a jQuery mobile boilerplate page. So this is the project uh, that I have currently open uh, in my Delphi IDE is the final result of our uh, tutorial one uh, for generating dynamic uh, jQuery uh, content. The objective of this uh, tutorial is to add uh, to this uh, project a server project that will take data from uh, Interbase database and I'm going to dynamically generate jQuery mobile markup in code. So let's uh, quickly review what our uh, jQuery query mobile uh, boilerplate uh, looks like. So that's my application, the boilerplate code I have uh, copied to a different directory and it generates just a plain uh, starting point for building a nice looking jQuery mobile pages. Okay, let's stop the application and uh, see uh, the content uh, of my page. So, few words about uh, jQuery mobile. So you will see that jQuery mobile is using this uh, data uh, attribute. So data minus role, data uh, minus... Uh, in this case we have only one uh, data role attribute. So I'm going to demonstrate uh, how you can uh, build uh, something uh, more complex. So first of all uh, in jQuery mobile in just one logical HTML document you can have multiple pages that can be uh, linked together. It has a benefit of being loaded in just one uh, step so if you want to have a uh, multiple pages uh, inside your HTML document you have to use ID uh, attribute uh, to differentiate them. So I can also change some things here so instead of uh, having a page title let's call it a uh, Delphi Labs Data Snap Super Page and maybe a footer Delphi Delphi is cool and in the content I need to provide some content so I'm going to just give a nice looking Welcome to Delphi Labs. This is a test page. Okay, so what I want to also uh, use uh, are uh, list views. So list views uh, looks especially nice. You can have a list view. Uh, so basically, uh, in order to have a list view in jQuery Mobile. I just need to have, a, for example, an unordered uh, list. So I need to do it like this. I will have a two, one tag for opening and one tag for closing an unordered list. And inside the unordered list I can have a... First of all, to make sure that this is really display, displayed as a nice looking uh, list view, I need to specify a special data role to this to this unordered list called uh, list view and I can have a number of uh, ad, um, um, list items so I'm going to have a maybe a list item something like this list item I'm going to close this list item like this and I'm going to uh, provide just a, maybe a link to about page so this is going to be a, a link which is a, which is also a, um, a reference to a by about page so href and about so I'm going to use this uh, hash uh, notation so I'm going to do about page. So this is going to be my uh, about page. And now I can also uh, 
just copy mm, the whole page and call it uh, this is going to be my second page uh, but this time this is going to be my about page so I'm going to change this data role will be about page about and in the contents I'm going uh, to provide this is my about this is about test page okay so in this way I should be able to actually I have now two pages uh, one page uh, called uh, about so this is an identifier about I have uh, also on my main page so the main page is the first one uh, I have a reference to about so let's uh, have a look uh, how this uh, page is going to look like so if I open the browser uh, I should see uh, that my I clicked twice so now I see that uh, Delphi school actually I did it wrong because now it's uh, pointing this about should be a nice uh, uh, reference so I have something uh, to uh, clean it up so first of all I didn't close this a uh, tag so this has to be closed uh, here very nicely uh, so now it, this is my mm, link also to make this list view a little bit nicer I can actually add this data data inset inset uh, attribute so it w the, the, the buttons will look uh, much better let's have a look if this is uh, what we want so I'm going to open this guy start the browser and let's see how it's going to look like okay notice that we have this nice uh, button now and if I click on about I'm on the about page so I have this sliding out of the box so this is something that uh, jQuery mobile uh, does for me uh, very easily the last thing to make it uh, slightly nicer I'm going to uh, use uh, teaming so I'm going to add a data team attribute and I can use things from A, B, C, D I know that C is nice so I'm going to change this uh, to C and maybe to to make the whole uh, page uh, nicer I can apply a slightly uh, different uh, page for the uh, whole thing so I can actually add here a data team maybe A and let's see how uh, this is going to uh, look like so now my page uh, is going to have some uh, nice uh, look and feel so this is uh, really the power of jQuery mobile that with simple uh, markup I can uh, build great looking uh, web interfaces so what I'm going to do in this uh, episode I'm going to to build a, a list of uh, customers di directly uh, from a data snap uh, server so what I'm going to do is to add uh, a new page uh, in my uh, list view so I have an about page and I will have the uh, customers so this is going to be my customers customers and I'm going to dynamically build a listing of customers uh, from data coming uh, from uh, the web page so I'm going to add another page here and it's going to be my uh, list of uh, customers so this page is now called uh, customers and the header is going to be called customers and the content itself is this is this is a list of our of customers coming from a data snap server so here I'm going to uh, build uh, the list uh, dynamically so again I'm going to have this uh, I'm going to copy a little bit of code here so I'm going to copy this uh, list view and this is this list is going to build uh, dynamically okay uh, and this is my list view I keep uh, the teaming and this will be my just a customer one 
can actually keep this one because I'm going to link again so I will just for time being leave this and this will be uh, customer one and in a moment I'm going to uh, replace this uh, list with a list that is generated dynamically okay so let's have a look uh, like uh, how uh, my application looks right now at this moment I'm going to open the page so now I should see two buttons on the main page so this is my about button I know and there is a now the customers that points to customer one two three so nothing is happening because I have not added any uh, code behind it but what I'm going to do I'm going to build a uh, one uh, dynamic page for every customer and uh, link it dynamically uh, here okay so just to, to finish this uh, part uh, of this episode uh, I'm going to replace this uh, code with uh, just something that is uh, built uh, dynamically so I'm going to have instead of uh, just hard coding the list of customers I need to generate it dynamically so I'm going to uh, implement a get a customer uh, list uh, method on my data module that will be responsible this is a private method because it will be only used inside this particular unit unit get customer list that will return a string so control shift uh, C and I'm going to take this customers and this is my list so I now need to uh, implement a code for returning something that looks like this okay result and this is my uh, dynamic list also what I want to do is I want to add uh, after this page I want to have a number of pages uh, for individual customers so get uh, customer pages so this is the next thing to implement for me uh, is uh, guest customer pages function get customer pages string so now I do not return anything special uh, I'm going to return it in a second <coughs> let's say let's have a look how my uh, application looks uh, right now I'm going to start it open the browser and now I should be able to see the same application so it still does not uh, move to uh, customer pages because I don't have these uh, pages uh, already so in the next part uh, of this uh, in the next episode of this part 2 of my uh, tutorial I'm going to add uh, data snap uh, serve uh, client um, functionality to retrieve uh, data from a data snap server and I'm going to build uh, the customer uh, list and customer pages uh, dynamically